Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. How are you all? Today we are going to create a 3D alphabet logo, a grid line logo. So let's see how we can do it. Today I am going to create a D letter logo. So first of all we have to select pen tool and make a straight line with shift button. Okay, done now decrease or light the stroke 0.5 okay select it and make a copy by pressing alter and drag done now select all and repeat this process just control d done now just align it Uh, it's artboard align align to key object okay now make it group by control G make uh, all, um, select all of this and make another copy by pressing alter and drag now rotate it with shift button it will be perfectly rotate 45 degree or 90 degree angle or however you want you have to rotate it shift button now now align again fine select all and increase okay now select ellipse tool and first uh, make sure your pixel snap to pixel is off now just press shift and alter and point it on this middle line and make a circle in between this five line okay you can see our fill is on so select all and turn off the fill okay we can see this overlapping which we don't want with shoot button just decrease the size now we have to see the outer line or the uh, connecting line is ok or not so for this just press ctrl y now check if this overlapping uh, you have to fix it this is also ok this is fine too yeah everything is ok okay now select ellipse tool again and make another line uh, another circle in between this four line mm, we can see this is not connected properly so we have to make sure every corner is connected properly yeah everything is fine now make uh, so come out from outer line press ctrl y again so it will be out select all and select shape builder tool and reverse the stroke to fill now turn on the fill and stroke off okay fine everything is fine mm, 
make ungroup select this and make ungroup select and select this and just okay this is our d-shape now we want to make it realistic and 3d shape so first turn this fill off now select this line edit copy and place in uh, paste in place now select this and same copy and paste in place done now just select direct selection tool this specific point and drag inside now this specific point drag inside drag and drag select all shape builder tool and now cut this extra part with pre alter press alter press alter and cut and join this line and this point okay now it's not looking like what we want so select a color first expand it object go to gradient panel gradient tool mm, what color should we choose it's totally depends on your mood lighter color and this is deeper okay so <clears throat> let's just fix the gradient uh, lighting path Okay. Now select this object and lock. So this won't uh, disturb us when we just try to fix this or just uh, scaling this. Okay. So let's uh, make a lighting effect. Select ellipse tool. Okay. Just try a pink color. Okay. Mm, this is so light, a little bit dark color. Yeah, this is good. 
yeah this good now just go to effect blur and bush blur turn on the, uh, turn on the preview so you can see that result before you make it okay Okay, so yeah, it's almost done. Make it ungroup. Unlock one. Oh, fast. Group this fast. Okay. So this is our logo. Almost done. And So if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon so whenever I upload my new video you can see watch uh, or watch the first. Thank you all.